it's Abby, and today I have the new, well, new to me, Bonnie Sweetheart Party Ball Joint Dolls. I purchased these from Kika Goods, and I have been dying to unbox these. So, let's dive in. And by dying to open these, I do not mean that I have been looking forward to dressing all of them, but I think it's going to be worth it. Here they are. There are six ball joint dolls. Maybe we'll get the secret today. That would be amazing. Here is the first box. It features the blue Bonnie. I love the hairs on these Bonnies. I'm not sure how many Bonnie sets are out total, but I've opened the, I think it's called Street Party. And I don't remember the name, but they were very cute. This is a whole different style and I'm excited. First one, oh, I think that's a spoiler. Looks like it is the blue dress. And here is the doll. Let's open her up. Here she is. Oh, I would have to compare her, but I feel like her body is different than the previous Bonnie figures. Let's get her out of here. I know that I make a big deal about not liking and dressing all of these dolls, but I may or may not have a bunch of clothes for them that I've purchased separately and that Kika Goods has sent me, so I have a whole wardrobe for them. That's gonna be a whole separate video, but I have so much to show you guys. So for those of you that are new to ball joint dolls, the hair usually comes off and then there's a face plate then to dress them, sometimes you'll need to pull things over their heads, so it's best to just remove all of this. But let's take a look at her dress. Hopefully it is all Velcro up the back. Now that I'm finally settling into my studio and things have calmed down, I really want to customize these cuties. Like, I'm sure these are glued in, but I bet you could swap out the eye chips. I don't know. I'd be scared to ruin them, but look at how pretty the eyes are. I'm trying to think. Like, my other ball joint dolls, my pull-up dolls, which are one six scale, so a little bit bigger than this, but um, you can customize their eye chips quite easily. One thing new about these Bonnies is that their ears are magnetic, which I think is really cool. Also, we love a perforated tear. Ear number one, right there, just snaps on. That's really cool. So you can't really like angle them like the ball jointed ones, but still cute. We have some extra hands. I think she's doing the okay sign. The hands and feet are definitely chunkier than the previous series. She feels a little more poseable too. We are in luck today. The dress has Velcro all the way to the top. And then these, I don't know if they're supposed to be like sandals or just like anklets. I was trying to figure them out from the picture. I guess we'll take a look. This dress is darling. It's very well made. We like the trim. The Velcro is very nice. Looks like there's a pleated kind of skirt on the inside and it's layered. I love that. Tiny, tiny buttons. Let's dress her. Another thing you can do if you're having a hard time is you can remove the hands, but I find it harder to put the hands back on. Than, what? There goes her hair. Then um, put, uh, what was I saying? I find it harder to put the hands on than get them through the sleeves, but that is preference. But also her hands might be too big. Hold on. Here she is. I did not have to remove her hand, so that was great. I am having a little bit of a hard time posing her. The joints, they're not necessarily stiff, but the elastic inside is very, I don't know, maybe just needs to be stretched out a little bit. I don't, I don't know. I'm not an expert on this. I just like collecting cute things. She looks like an idol. This skirt is so cute. I did realize though with the different leg shape, she probably won't be able to wear some of the pants that I own for this size doll. It's the, they usually wear the Obitsu 11 size clothes. We'll have to play around with the clothes that I own and see what else she can wear. Take a closer look. She is darling. I love her hair. It's very pretty and the quality is great. I am loving this. She has her tongue sticking out. Isn't that cute? And the eye chips, perfection. One of her buttons did just come off, but I can glue that back on. She stands, okay, there. She stands on her own, she's fine, stay. Let me grab the second one. Taking a quick peek at this picture, they all have dresses and they all have the little lace anklets or sandals. She's called, oh wait, she has a card, hold on. 
She is called Sea Salt Cece. See, I don't know what CC means. She is adorable. I do love this color palette. I'm gonna have to look at the other ones. There's one with purple hair, I believe, but this might be my favorite dress. It does come with an instruction sheet. This is how it is strung, and that's why it's sometimes harder to pose. Here it gives all the measurements, which is great if you're wanting to customize or make your own clothes. There's the purple haired one. And it tells you how to do the head assembly. So this is really useful. You should keep at least one of these. Now let's open the second one. So there is a secret one and I've seen it. It actually was on the big box, I think. And I would love to get it because that actually is one of my favorite dresses too. The others, there are, there's, well, purple and orange, but there's like yellow, orange, green. That's like three, three. I don't know. There's no, well, I guess this is pink and red. But. Oh, there's a spoiler. I don't know if I can do this spoiler free. Here she is. She has a thumbs up hand. They all have stars on their palms. And then here are her ears. Her hair is cute. Let's get her out of here. This body style reminds me of Pinky Street. Is that what it's called? The old Japanese fashion dolls. They're really cute. Here she is. She is a strawberry girl. She has a bow, short hair, pretty gradient, pink to orange. We like that. Actually, they all have like hints of green, not green, orange and yellow in them. You can take a closer look at her face without the hair, her eye chips. It's like a strawberry. And she actually has a mouth. It's not just painted on. That's cute. You can see the magnets in her head. And here is her dress. It's red, it has some lace, tulle on it. They all have that little bunny button and the tiny, tiny buttons, which I think are glued on because, yeah, they're not sewn on. I'm gonna have to glue the tiny one back on. And this also has Velcro all the way down. Let me get her dressed. Here she is in her dress. You know what? I was saying that the joints don't move very well. They're not very poseable. I honestly think it might be the dress. They don't really have shoulders. So, I don't know, the dress doesn't quite fit on top. It just seems a little bit big. It could be because it's a different body type, but I, I would assume these clothes are made for these dolls because it's, you know, for this design. The fit isn't quite perfect. But she still looks very cute and you still can get her to pose. Like she can wave. She can put both of her hands up. I think it partially is the top a little bit, limits her mobility a tad, but also probably is just like how the joints and stuff are. You just kind of need to play around with it a bit. Almost forgot. Here are her ears. Bonnie figures are so cute. Here's the card. Her name is Budney Berry. Hold on, I can't see. It's Berry, I had to look, I had to look at the box. It's Berry May May. I like this one. I really like the hair. Number three. I hope we get the purple haired one. Like next. I know we're gonna get her. It would be my luck though to get the secret one and not the purple haired one. No spoilers this time. Oh, here she is. Her ears and the figure. Let's get her out of there. I like that they wire them in so they don't break in transit. Or when people shake the boxes. Please don't shake your blind boxes. Well, you can do whatever you want with them after you purchase them, but don't shake them in the stores. Oh no, she has a blemish on her forehead. I think her hair covers that though. The fun thing about having a full set is that you can mix and match hairs. Be really cute with the different eye chips. So here she is. See, they're, they're more poseable when they don't have clothes on. You see what I mean? I think the clothing just limits them. Anyway, here she is. Let me put her clothes on. She's a bit indecent. Here's her dress. It is kind of a darkish burnt orange with purple. I wish it was a little more cutesy, but it's still a very nice design. I think it's just because it's not my favorite color combo. She has peace sign hands. Those are cute. I love the star. And here she is. Her ears. Does it matter which one? I think it goes this way. This dress actually seems to fit a little bit better too. She looks very cute. I like the bow. 
There, she has her little yellow bunny button. Seeing it all together, I'm a little more happy with like the color combo of her dress. I really like her hair. She has like little, what would you even call these? Are they buns? I guess you could call them buns. And I love her fringe. I love side bangs. Let's see what her name is. A lot just happened there and I'm missing an ear. Did you guys see where it went? One flew over there. Anyway, this is Taro Lily. Oh, that's a cute name. Taro, Taro, Taro. I think they're all desserts. Is that what's called sweetheart party? Cause they're all sweets. Um, there's a lot of chaos going on right now. I don't know where your other ear is and you're the only one that'll sit. So you can just stay right there. Number four, cross your fingers for the secret one. It could be the secret one instead of the yellow one or the orange one. Though I do like the brown haired one. She's really cute. I just really want the secret one. Oh, orange. Where did her ear go? I don't know if I like these magnetic ears now. Oh, she is cute. She comes with a built-in headband. Let's untie her. Oh, she is a cutie. You need to take a close look at her face. Look at her lashes. There's like sparkles and hearts. And then her eyes are adorable too. She has sparkles in them too. Let me put her dress on and then we'll take a closer look. I take back what I said. Her dress comes with a big bow. I already love it. I got her dress, but I also got up and looked for the missing ear. Um, I am baffled. I went through the trash. I looked through all the boxes. I looked on the floor. I looked down the hall. I found one. But um, yeah, I don't understand how an ear can just cease to exist. Anyway, I slightly regret saying I loved the bow because the apron was separate, but considering it was just the one figure so far, it wasn't that much of a hassle. I did have to remove her head to get the straps over, but worth it now. She looks adorable. There's a few loose threads that need to be trimmed, but I think she looks great. Oh, and here are her ears. She has heart hands. I love that. One ear, two ears. I love the headband too. This one's very, very cute. Her name is Brown Coco. It looks like a chocolate cake. Two more to go. Will we get a secret one? Her name's Sweetie Fox. Oh my goodness, it's one out of 96, except it says 96 out of one. Also, these are for ages 15 plus, not for young children because there are many small parts. Oh, I see the dress. Oh, it's the yellow poofy one. Oh, her eyes. She has the same hairband too. Hold on. Are you ready? Here she is. They all have like smudgies on their forehead, but not all, but some of them. I guess that's okay. I don't really see that part. She has a lot going on in her hair. Oh, I just realized the fringe is the same. Well, obviously because of the hairband as this one. Wait, the back of the hair is too. That kind of disappoints me. Are there other ones that share hair? This one just does not bring my little soul any joy at all. She was horrible to dress. I did not enjoy that experience at all. Couldn't get her hands through the sleeves. And I, I'm just not a fan of this skirt. I don't know, if maybe if it didn't have the apron it would look okay, but it just looks bunchy. I looked at the box while I was dressing her. The secret one I think is a recolor of the blue one. Other than that, it's just this one and the brown one. Brown cocoa that share the same hair actually. And look at this, her hands, they're just like, I guess they're like little scrunchy hands. They're different, but it's kind of whatever. This one just doesn't really make me happy. Color aside, but color is a factor too. I might've liked it a little more if it wasn't a color that I like, but I just really don't like this dress either. Sorry, not sorry. I wish they would've at least changed the hair. Her name is Orange Pop Pop. Last one. It's either gonna be this one or the secret one. I would have liked the secret one instead of Orange Pop Pop. Matcha Foo Foo. She looks cute. Kind of um, Anna Green Gables vibes.
Oh, there's the card. No spoilers. Please be the secret one. Oh, I don't think so. I see orange. Oh, but she has braids. She's cute. She has an apron too, but no big bow. Her dress is simple. I think she's cute. I'm not quite sure about this apron placement though. I need to look at the picture again. I did have to remove her head because her braids were very much in the way. That's not too much of a hassle. And then here is her apron. It needs to be ironed a little bit or steamed, but it's a very cute design. The strap right here is a little bit bunchy and doesn't want to cooperate with her braid, but there you go. And here are her ears. Let's turn them around. She's cute. I like her. She reminds me of Nemo, the quintessential quintuplets. And her hands, she has like a little pointy finger hand. It's for both hands. Um, I don't know. I'm, there's something about the apron. It's just, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or what's going on. It's like a little bunchy. It feels like maybe it's too big. Uh, I'll play around with it a little more. But for this one and this one, I'm kind of glad that I have more clothes for them to try on. Oh, her ears turned. I think... A few of these girls will be getting makeovers, whoops. But I love the braids on this one. She is darling. She has the most normal, like anime looking eyes out of all of them. So we opened a full set today. I'm glad on, oh, okay. She doesn't want to sit and also she really wants to do the splits. I get confused because I opened a bunch all at once, but I think I had a bit of a struggle with posing the Bonnie dolls last time too. So I do have Obitsu bodies. She's gonna take a nap that I would love to try to test out the neck joints with. I know that the neck parts are very different for Obitsus though, so we'll have to play around. I know someone asked me before like what bodies they can be used with. So we'll do a little bit of Frankensteining and potentially customizing. And um, yeah, we'll have like a fashion show because I have so many clothes to show you guys. If you thought these Bonnie ball joint dolls were cute and you want to get some for yourself, you can go to Kika Goods. My coupon code is Lorien. It'll get you 10% off. All in all, they are very, very cute. Um, I mean, the ones I said would be my favorite are my favorite, these three. But those are my favorite colors. Um, I will try to find her ear. I will let you know on Instagram my stories if I find her, so please follow me, Lorian's Toy Box, and Studio Lorian. We're kind of doing a crossover move right now. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was useful, it was entertaining, and I hope to see you at the next premiere or in the comments.